10 TV News at 5 starts right away with breaking news. A police officer rushed to an area hospital after being shot. This is all connected to an armed robbery. Right now, I-70 eastbound in Columbus is shut down. You can see it at the top of the left screen there. We know that there are three different crime scenes connected to this incident. Whitehall police say it all started with a stolen Porsche and ended with a suspect robbing a bank. We have crews at each location. Let's get started along Hilliard Rome Road at that Fifth Third Bank where 10 TV's Lacey Crisp is live right now with the latest on this incident and how it all started. Lacey. Well, Andrea, I'm actually at Mound in Souter. I can tell you that we were just a few blocks away with Columbus police officers as they were at an event giving away bikes to kids. That's when the Columbus police officers took off running, including two Columbus police deputy chiefs. We followed them here to this scene. What I can tell you is that Columbus police confirmed there was an officer involved shooting here at Mound and 70. Brian Steele with the police union confirms a Columbus police officer was shot. Now, Whitehall police tell us there was a poor stolen at gunpoint at the Porsche dealership in Whitehall. There were no injuries at that scene, but detectives followed that Porsche and they found it in Hilliard near the Fifth Third Bank on Hilliard Rome Road. Now, police say it was those same suspects who were robbing the bank. Now, the Porsche is now on I-70 and police are still searching for suspects. Whitehall police explained exactly what happened. I can tell you the sense that it started out as an armed robbery in Whitehall. This is one of our car dealerships. We had a very violent takeover style robbery. Uh, at least one suspect entered the business with a ski mask, displaying a pistol with a high capacity magazine and demanded a key to one of the Porsche vehicles. Anybody injured? Nobody was injured at the dealership. What happened with the Porsche and the suspects? Um, our detectives were very quickly able to track this Porsche down. We tracked it to the Hilliard area. Uh, we had learned that as we tracked it down, they were in the process of committing a bank robbery. And from there, a police pursuit ensued where we uh, pursued the suspects uh, with some of our mutual aid partners to this location. Now, again, police are still searching for those suspects. You probably can hear above me. There are two police helicopters circling this area, and I can tell you just about 10 minutes ago, the SWAT unit arrived on the scene here. Again, this is a very active scene. This all just happened within the last few minutes here at Mount and Souter, right off of I-70 here. Of course, we will keep you updated as soon as we learn more information. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10 TV News. Lacey, thank you. Very active scene there. Avoid that area if you can. Let's move now closer to the city grant medical center right now where our second crew is standing by yeah, 10 tv's richard solomon is following up on the condition of the officer who was shot today richard what can you tell us what have you learned well, Yolanda Andrews, just within the last 10 minutes or so, Brian Steele, the president of the local FOP, spoke with us. He said that officer was shot. And I can tell you, just being here at Grant Medical Center, I have seen dozens and dozens of officers and cruisers, detectives rush to this emergency center. Um, right now, this is what it looks like, right? This is outside of the center. You can see this area blocked off. Officers blocked that off about 35 or so minutes ago. But I mean, this is at the in connection to that shooting on I-70. Again, we are still waiting to learn more um, from police just on how that officer is doing. But we can tell you right now that an officer is shot. Brian still says once he learns more information, he will come out here and speak with us. So hopefully we can relay more information to you. But he says right now there is still a lot going on. But that's all that we have here at this moment for now reporting live in Columbus. Back to you. All right, Richard Solomon live at Grant tonight for us. Richard, thank you so much. This is still an active scene, dangerous scene, and fluid situation that's unfolding by the minute. Yeah, we're going to keep you updated as soon as we get more details about this case. We'll pass it along to you. To stay up to date, just download the free 10TV app in your app store. We'll send you alerts whenever breaking news happens.